The word Allah is the unique name of God. He is the one and the only, the absolute and eternal God. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of the universe. He is the Lord of all lords, King of all kings. He is the most compassionate and the most merciful. Allah neither begets nor is he begotten, and he knows no equal. The word Allah translates to God. Allah is not a foreign God and does not bear a foreign name. Allah, rather, is a semantic term for God. Regardless of this fact, some people harbor the mistaken belief that Muslims worship a different God than the Christians and Jews, and that Allah is simply a God for the Arabs. This is far from the truth. The word Allah is simply the Arabic name that connotes God. Arabic-speaking Jews and Christians use the same word to refer to God. If one were to pursue an Arabic translation of the Bible, one would see the word Allah being used in place of the term God. However, Muslims, Christians, and Jews all have different concepts of God. Muslims and Jews both reject the Christian beliefs of the Trinity as well as the Divine Incarnation. This, however, does not mean that each of these three religions worship a different God. There is only one true God. Muslims believe in one unique, incomparable God, who has no son, no family, and no partner. None should be worshipped but Him alone. He is the true God, and every other deity is false. God is unique, indivisible, and similar to nothing. Whenever you try to compare God to anything in this world, it cannot be God, because God, to put simply, is incomparable. God as a concept cannot be fully comprehended and grasped by our finite human minds. For this very reason, Muslims avoid conceptualizing His image, because imagining or visualizing Him would be limiting Him. God has a unique nature and is free from gender and human weakness, and is beyond anything which human beings can imagine. No one has the right to be invoked, supplicated, prayed to, or shown any act of worship but Allah alone. Allah has power over all things. No other power, nor might, nor strength, nor influence can cause benefit or harm to anyone or anything except that which flow through Him. Nothing can happen unless God wills it to be so. God is King, the Holy, the One free from all defects, the Protector, the Keeper, the Sustainer of Earth and the Universe and all that it contains. He is the Glorious, the Great, the Deserver of all praise. The Kingdom of the Heavens and the Earth belong to Him. Nothing is hidden from Him and nothing is beyond His capabilities. He is the Lord and the Master of the Physical Universe and the Ruler and Lawgiver for human life. Allah is the creator of everything from atoms to galaxies, from the smallest of animals to the largest. He is the director of all that is created. It is He who heats and brightens the earth, varies the direction of the winds, makes a man's heart beat, provides air for man to breathe and keeps planets in their separate orbits. He is the one that merges the night into the day and merges the day into the night. He is the master of the day of judgment. Allah does not sleep, nor slumber, nor does sleep take over Him. He, after all, created the universe in six days with no rest. Some people assume that God, as perceived in the faith of Islam, is a harsh, stern, cruel God, one who demands to be respected, worshipped, and obeyed fully, and is not loving and kind to His creation. Nothing could be further from the truth. God is all-loving. In fact, He claims amongst His names Al-Wadud, in Arabic, the all-loving. The love of God in the Qur'an is expressed and emphasized many times throughout his book. The entire universe and everything it contains are proof of Allah's love for his creation. He provided endless variety of foods, a vast array of lands and wildfire, the sun, the moon, the stars, family, offspring, and much more. Everything one sees, feels, hears, tastes, and smells are all form of blessings given to us by our Creator. He didn't have to do this, but He chose to bestow these blessings upon us. His unbounded mercy encompasses everything. On the other hand, God is also just. Hence, evildoers and sinners must be held accountable for their actions. God is holy, righteous, and fair. If He didn't impose a punishment for evil, He would be allowing that evil to exist without consequences. Since God cannot let that happen, His justice requires that a proper punishment be incurred and executed for evil sins. Although Allah is not answerable to anyone, He has promised nonetheless to be just and fair with everyone. God has an infinite number of names and has a special category of 99 names listed in the Qur'an and teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. 
of His names is the ever merciful, the forgiving, the loving, the nourisher, the sustainer, the compassionate, the exalter, the just, the great, the protector, the caregiver, the ever living, the powerful, the first, the last, the pardoner, the light, the supporter, the eternal, the preserver, the wise, the originator, and the one who gives life and resurrects. God has perfect attributes. He has limitless and infinite hearing, vision, mercy, love. God is very near. He sees and knows every aspect of his creations. He hears every word that is uttered. He is knowledgeable of one's inner thoughts. God knows all our dreams, secrets, desires, and wishes. Nothing is hidden from him. Our prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.